celebrate the beauty and diversity of Pasig City, we are here to commemorate the landmarks and known facilities that complete our very own city. Yes, that's right. And to give importance to our land, we prepared this promotional video to remind you on how wonderful Pasig City is. Fun fact! Did you guys know that Pasig was once a part of this land? You guys here at Pasig, so we are here to unlock some mysteries on how Pasig started its own. We are here to locate some information on how Pasig became an established city that can perform well with other neighboring cities. So hold on to your seats as we begin this journey with you. We will be going to us through an adventure as we unveil some treasures Pasig can offer and its significance to our country. Philippines, especially to the Pasigenos. So what are we waiting for? One, two, three! Arata! Mabuhay! For the start this journey, let me ask you this question. Are you guys familiar with this place? Yes, that's right. I'm currently standing on Pasig Casa Rizal that was first laid out in 1860s. It is an open space park right across the Pasig City Museum and it is land between the Capitol Building and St. Joseph's Cathedral. As we can see, there's a lot of beautiful sceneries and historical landmarks on here that has been an attraction for people who want to spend some time or take a short break while touring the city. This Plaza Rizal stands in honor of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. So hello again everyone! Merong Plaza Rizal, siyempre merong Plaza Bonifacio, for where it is known for its monument honoring our God and just Bonifacio. It is a place for people to congregate and find comfort as they move through life. It has a grand staircase, fountain pool, the cafeteria with outdoor dining, and also the parking area. And of course, the urban landscape. These two were the most known plazas Pasig can offer. with the facilities. How can a city manage to survive without a city hall? Pasig City Hall is known for a home with a large number of departments that meet the needs of the city and give governance. The office of the mayor is also located here wherein Mayor Vicos also does his job by broadening oversight, managing of all municipal initiatives, services, and operations. It is great to see how Pasig functions well and doing their best to serve and give people's needs to ensure the constant progression of the city. Welcome to Takhalang Pasigay! Home of Theater and Arts in Pasig. It is a prime venue in Pasig. A lot of actors and actresses were already been here to showcase their skills and talents when it comes to theater and arts, like Mr. Vince Daniada, a known theater actor, and is great for his artistry when in the field of theater. There are also a lot of events held here, such as Filipinos Got Talent and Diana Pasig. So if you want to visit Pasig and watch theater play, do not miss the chance to go here and experience a real or imagined event. Center is important to Masigeno not only for them to play many different kinds of sport but also to gather Filipino or Pasig to important events. During this pandemic, it has also served as a vaccination center and established quarantine facility. Entertainment and social services, Tata Pasignificant! Not knowing where to go next, City Museum, we will be both entertained and gain knowledge about the city's history. The 
museum shows cultural heritage and the art and the distance. Apart from its permanent exhibits, the Coffee City Museum also serves as a vital resource for students who seek a deeper understanding of the topic's past and relevant to the present. in writing poems and novels. Speaking of literature and books, we proudly present to you our very own Mr. Lope Santos. Mr. Lope Santos is born in Pasig City and he is well known for his socialist novel named Banag at Sikat in 1906. His pen name is Ang Ating Buhay and he developed the Filipino drama. Now, everyone who, who wants to know the significance of his legacy will just view the moon. Richness in history and literature, Viva Paulian Pasigyan! I'd like to welcome you all to the 
pamantasan ng lusot ng Pasig, also known as PLP or the University of Pasig City. PLP is the one of the local universities run by the Pasig City government. It is known and recognized in 2006 for having a high number of passing percentages in Metro Manila. PLP is a public university established way back March 15, 1999, founded in 2000 through the initiatives of the former mayor, Vicente C. Lucetti. It aims to provide a higher education program that will fully develop an individual's potential as a human being and share responsibility in uplifting the quality of life in the community. One significant goal of passing is to foster children and let them experience safety and be uplifted through education. Before ending this video, how could we forget the most famous and known aspect of the passing city? Yes, it is the passing river. The Pasig River is one of the main causes why people live in Pasig. It has become part of their lifestyle which provides their needs and also work. We have Manginista and Water Lily Maker here that is fond of making the resources here as a source of living. Kahit na tayo ang dahilan ng pagdumi ng Pasig River, we can't deny that still, Pasig River is still functional and still provides something for the Pasigenos. However, are you aware of the project called Parex, which will be constructed along the Pasig River? If not, I'll be here to explain about the project. Parex stands for Pasig River Express Bay, where this thing that you can see here will be constructed as a highway to allocate commuters and allow various flow economic responsibilities. The aim of Parex is good, and they just want to create development among Pasig. With it, there is no such shame that they think for the sake of everyone. But we do believe that Parex is totally undesirable since it might aggravate air pollution and ruin the ecology of the river. It could also block and ruin the views of the river and most historic buildings that are located along its banks. That is why we are really advocating for the Pasig River to be removed. Rather than develop and targeted expressway, we advocate for a safe, eco-friendly projects since Pasig is the only one. And we are Pasignificant saying, Vision and Learn, Wonder and Fun!